All right, morning, Blam. Morning, 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 morning. The gang's all here. Or all right. Gang. Well, <laughs> let us jump right into uh, version three features because I think this, this is a good time to talk about it, right? People are speculating, etc. So let's talk about some of the uh, features that are coming in version three, shall we? Um, the first one that I want to talk about here. Let's uh, switch up the. Uh, thing here all right we have a new multiple new hidden systems coming i should say why don't you tell us about that l rock so one of the first things actually i think this ended up in 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 development immediately after 2.0 launch was more better hints the current path system is pretty great but as we've seen it is uh you can it can lead to some ugly situations where you have very vague hints and unhinted things and it's 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 a little spicy and it's also pretty hard you have to know a lot about the game to really follow your path hints so there's the first th one of the first things to come into the uh the next version of dk64randomizer.com was new hints so multi-path is an extension of path hints that sort of replaces them your path hints will tell you all of the goals the item is on the path to so it's very interesting uh you get a whole lot of information out of uh out of your hints and you gotta parse it. it they're certainly not easy but there are other kinds of hints as well there's now the item hinting hints which will tell you where it'll give you a hint towards a specific item it doesn't tell you if the item is needed or not it prioritizes you know tell it prioritizes hinting important items but it doesn't actually tell you which ones are needed so you kind of got to piece together the puzzle you got to sort of puzzle your way through the seeds these item hinting settings are really good for beginners if you're interested in dk64randomizer.com there is a beginner preset that includes these new hints that'll uh, help you on your way get to learn a bit about the game you got to think about hmm what kind of checks are there for diddy and galleon like the mechfish dun, dun, dun. and there's also an advanced version of it that's a little more vague about what it's hinting so hints big big hint update in version three it's gonna be good all right, I accidentally clicked for the next uh, feature a little too quickly here, but the next one is pause item locations and hint region display. What can we say about that one? So this one's pretty simple. Uh, a lot of the issues that people were having with uh, Season 2 and 2.0 was kind of not a lot of information being given to the player on the screen whilst they're playing the game. So uh, they're asking, well, I'm in this location. What hint region is this? And then they'd pick up items and they'd be like, well, I forgot what items I collected where because I played the seed like two days ago and I forgot it. So <laughs> in game, there will now be on the uh, pause menu a uh, little bit of text which will say what hint region you are in. And also there is a screen which tells you uh, every single item in the game and where you got it if you got it already. It's not going to give you that information in advance, so it's really useful for those who don't like excessive uh, note-taking. Indeed. Um, very useful for, like, again, we, I, a lot of people can take notes anyway, but, like, trying to keep as much information self-contained and easy to find in the game as possible, the better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And we're, like, one of the big things with uh, 3.0 is we've tried to... Uh, make the game uh, have a lower barrier to entry. You don't need to uh, read hundreds and hundreds of lines of wiki information, and you don't need to have so much information stored in your brain and have the most efficient hinting or uh, note-taking uh, formula or whatever. You can just pick up play, and it will try to make things as low barrier to entry as possible. Indeed. It's very fun to know everything, though, so I would recommend reading thousands of lines of, of, <laughs> oh, of yeah. wiki documentation. And not just because I wrote them, because I wrote them. Obviously, I, 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 only, I only put fire on the page, so, you know, make that what yeah. you make of that what you will. Yeah, it's a whole balancing act of, like, making, like, the barrier to entry lower, but still keeping that skill ceiling so high. Like, that's how, like, all these people you see on restreams and on GDQ uh, races how they are so good is because they've taken the time to kind of look into how the randomizer works and figure out these kinds of uh, pathing decisions that they're making. So the wikis will still be useful, but you won't need them to play DK64 randomizer. That's the whole purpose of this. 
Yeah. All right, and moving on to the next feature here, we have music filtering, aka dot candy files. What can we say about this one? Albert, do you want to take it away since you I explained the last one? I love music. The music, the custom music is known to be uh, also straight fire in DK64 Randomizer, and the custom music people have been hard at work making a ton of music. And we've got so much music that we now have the ability to sort of filter out your music. You can kind of, uh, music is, is the, the music that has been uh, screened is, have tags on them, and with these tags it can more precisely put music in more appropriately themed areas you'll get things more appropriate to mini games uh, you'll get th things more appropriate to shops you'll get things more appropriate to like lobbies menus overworld underground gloomy happy etc you get a little more thematic with your music it's it's pretty cool there's other options to like uh instead of having wrinkly doors like interrupting your soundtrack every time you open a door so you only hear the first like four notes of guile's theme as you're running through a lobby you know you actually get you can have your whatever's playing in the background just play right through it play continuously you don't get so many interruptions like things like pause menu brilliant you can pick and choose where music will appear in your seeds so if you always want pumpkin hill on castle outdoors then there you go you can you can do that brilliant not a bad choice of where to place Pumpkin Hill in all honesty. <laughs> it's a pretty a pretty solid decision right there. Alright, and moving on, the next thing we want to talk about is we have the newest, hottest item check, Melon Crates. Yeah, so this was kind of requested for a while towards the end of uh, the uh, 2.0 development cycle. Though we implemented it pretty early. So uh, now uh, Melon Crates, they can hide your items. They can hide GBs. They can hide keys. They can hide all of your Way of the Horde items. It's great. Like <laughs> and, the and the best news is, because it adds junk items to the pool, Elrock can rest easy that he doesn't need to bang his head on the wall trying to make it work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just exactly. works. Exactly. It's, it's great. So you have that added to item randomizer. And additionally, if you like going a little crazy and stuff like that, we have added location randomizer for melon crates as well. So you can find them in new, interesting places that aren't in the vanilla game. And it's all fun and stuff like that. Yeah, that's going to be a nice thing to add. And another new feature that we added, drop sanity. Drop sanity. Uh is the uh the the clever title we came up for it the short of it the uh, the long of it is that what if you just had enemies that drop gbs what if your enemies drop vials what if your enemies drop kongs every oh, enemy boy. is a check and if they're sparkling they got the goods you got to find a way to kill them maybe yeah, you need a gun maybe you, maybe you need an instrument maybe you need oranges who knows oh boy how many checks is at the pool now if you turned it all on <laughs> several hundred i think it was i think uh, if I remember correctly, it's around about the region of 400. Oh, it's, I thought it was more than that. Uh, something around that. I forget the exact number, but it's around about 400 extra checks. Super Mario RPG said at first, want to double your coins? We say oh. I want to double your checks. Well, there you go. Oh, you mean you mean 400 extra checks from the enemies alone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's somewhere in the realm of like 700, well, like 700 total checks or something crazy? Yeah, yeah. Like, if you add all of the checks that are going to be in 3.0 together, if you want to go crazy with your uh, new seeds, or if you want to send a really bad seed to JX Jacob, like, you can <laughs> add drop sanity, and there's about 700 checks that you can have. So I'm at JX it. Jacob right now, actually. <laughs> he's, he's fine, he can handle it. <laughs> As being of handling it, um, here's another one that I hope a lot of people learn to handle. Switch Sanity. I think this one, this was one of the most requested features, and I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, it's a really solid feature, this one. So, uh, on top of the kind of idea with progressive slam switches, where, you know, you can have, like, a red slam in Japes, or you can have a blue slam in Castle kind of thing, Switch Sanity kind of takes that to the next level. So, uh, 
specific gun switches, instrument pads, and a couple other things here and there, they can be for any Kong. So you could uh, shoot the uh, gun switches that take you to the lighthouse area, but they're not coconuts anymore. They might be the pineapple or the feather or something like that. It's not always going to be coconut to open up lighthouse. Um, we even had a little bit of fun with it. So the pad which takes you to the top of Prem Isle, normally a monkey paw, but with Switch Sanity, you can do a baboon balloon or it can be a baboon blast. And I tell you, the first time when I was coding it in, having Lanky Kong baboon balloon his way up to the top of Prem Isle, <laughs> it was the best time ever. We were all laughing when we first saw that video. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it was, a, it was, that's a, it, it, it's a good feature, that's for sure. <laughs> I think we're, I think we're really sleeping on a gong in Helm Lobby. That's a, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you could get a chimpy charge into the way of the horde, and you think, well, what is this for? It's a charge in Helm Lobby to spawn the vines instead of Gorilla Gun. So there's lots of fun to be had and a lot of ways to kind of vary up your seeds, you know. Speaking of varying up your seeds, that kind of brings into the nest feature here. And again, another highly requested check. And I'm sure Revan, Revan is probably celebrating this one because one of the newest features random settings maybe you don't know what you want to play what if you just click the random settings button and just kind of just game hey, yeah, just, and the just ball out yeah the best part is you have to figure out what settings you rolled exciting I mean, times yeah and then, you know you could also it, and it, it it randomizes the settings on the site so you can kind of like look look through the site and be like did i, did I get something really nasty it's not it's not necessarily you know consigning you to your fate you can kind of you kind of judge it for yourself click the button a couple times until you see what you like it's good times random settings is a big one there are like whole randomizer tournaments centered around random settings so um definitely one of the ones i'm looking most forward to and yes i do owe revan a random setting seed for sure i ain't getting away from that one <laughs> And the good thing about it, too, is there's difficulty levels. So it's not going to be completely, completely random. If you want something that's a little easier, if you're like kind of new to DK64 randomizer, there is an easy option and the uh, biases and the features it will randomize are more ten or more tailored towards an easier time. But yet again, if you want something which is uh, really hard you're gonna have lots of fun playing it and spending a lot of hours into it there's also like a really difficult like option where you know you could get really difficult settings so it's a fun time hey, and then uh one of the last major things that we did add as well here and this is uh I don't know if this has been highly requested but it's been mentioned before but we are adding some more things to the uh bonus barrel pool here and that includes training minigames ramby arena and on guard do you ever want to jump into a bonus barrel and discover that oh my god i actually need oranges yeah you did you didn't know it but you did here you go enjoy <laughs> yeah i think we've had a few clips pop up in the uh videos and clips channel of the discord <laughs> where someone hops into a helm barrel and they suddenly discover oh i need to find oranges that's oh, gonna no. be somewhere <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's definitely been a thing um so far but also there's like a little bit of an easier time you got rambi arena uh so you gotta kill some beavers with rambi i can't remember the exact count i think it's around about 100 points you have to get in order to beat that and then on guard arena you just have to jump through some stars and it's all good. So we've added those uh, six mini games into the bonus barrel pool to add a little bit of variety so that, you know, you know, change, change things up a little bit. Yeah. And uh, with that, um, I and that's great because like I want to if you want to know when it's all coming out, I mean, I posted when it, we posted when this is coming out a couple days ago. Right. So people are definitely looking forward and excited for the release date. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, it seems there's some confusion in the chat. Tudos, where where did we where did we I know I I posted it. What do you mean? I yeah, it's been posted like six times already, hasn't it? Yeah. Is it posted? Yeah, where, no, yeah. Maybe we yeah. find it on is it on DK sixty four randomizer.com? 
No, 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 Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay. Ah. Sorry, guys. It comes out February second, twenty twenty four. That is the release oh. of DK six four randomizer version three. That's just a, a classic mistake. I, anyone could have made that mistake. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. It's not like we've been reverting the version back to two point two point twenty three for the past two or three days. Two dose. Huh? Mm -hmm. Two dose. Wow. <laughs> wow, what a strange Easter egg. Wonder That's how crazy. that how, I wonder how this date got picked. We'll get our first um, weekly on on 2224 and on the uh, on 3.0. Woohoo. Yep, are you guys ready for the final season 2 weekly Sunday 2 p.m. Eastern? The first 3.0 or sorry, version 3 weekly which has season 2 multipath hints will be next Friday. So, if you want to do single path ends one more time, got to do it on Sunday. Otherwise, we are down and, I guess, um, indefinitely on multipath hinting. The new age is upon us. It is. Yeah. Everyone's just got to get with the times, multipath the future. This is the way oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's very good. Lots of, lots of discussion going on on that. And if you want to join the discussion, come on down to discord.dk64randomizer.com. 